a trail for hiking, biking, and running, runs alongside the Delaware River from Trenton, New Jersey to Frenchtown. The lower part of the trail follows what used to be a canal towpath, while the upper end rests on an old railroad bed. This man famously crossed this part of the river. Washington and his men slipped quietly across on Christmas night, 1776, shocked the Hessians, and restored the flagging morale of the colonies. Some 200 years later, this man built a small chemical plant along the river. One purpose of the plant was to treat toxic waste but often the company simply poured the materials into the ground. The result? A Superfund site just south of Frenchtown and right in the path of the multi-use trail. You know, they caught him once here. They caught him dumping a whole truckload of uh, chromic acid into the ground and, um, you know, they, they tried to get him to fix that, but he never really did. He didn't remediate anything, uh, just the bare, did the bare minimum without those times the, the laws were a lot laxer. In the 1990s, the Federal Environmental Protection Agency demolished the site and removed some 60,000 tons of contaminated soil. But the EPA was not satisfied. Some contaminants remained, embedded deep underground. Joining forces with the Army Corps of Engineers and Arcadis, an environmental company, the EPA returned to drill wells and inject a powerful oxidant into the bedrock to neutralize the contaminants there. And you can see this manifold system here. Uh, basically looks like a giant octopus. Uh, this being the head and the arms just all stretching out down underneath this fence to various injection walls located throughout the park here. When a series of injections in 2014 did not eliminate as much contamination as the team had hoped, it returned in 2015 to do another round. What we're doing now is, is pretty similar to what we did a year ago, uh, except you know, we're we're, uh, we believe we're doing it even better. Um, we're injecting uh, a solution of sodium persulfate into the ground. Uh, that's a, an a oxidant. And we believe it'll react with um, some of the contaminants in the groundwater and um, you know, reduce their concentrations. So we're doing this uh, 24 hours a day, um, whereas last time, the uh, injection would be more like 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eight days in a row of 24 hours a day, so they're working round the clock, you know, two 12-hour shifts, and using much higher pressure to get into the secondary fractures of the bedrock, the, where, where we feel that the contamination is still hiding and causing a problem. So with this extra pressure and longer periods of injection, we feel like we're going to knock it out this time. The groundwater in some of the fractures is moving very, very slowly. And that's part of the problem here. That's why we're pressurizing our uh, injectant, the oxidant, to try and push it through faster than it would normally go. We're uh, hoping to hit a home run here, and uh, so far, so far so good. And uh, we appreciate the opportunity the EPA has been giving us here. I like to think that uh, in the 70s, Manfred Derule, he dumped chemicals here. And in the 2015s, the core dumped chemicals here, but, but our chemicals are, are for good, um, hopefully to, to remove the last vestiges of, of his stuff. So someday all this will be gone. Uh, this will just be a park and people will never know that we're here.